Hey YouTube, this is Amos Bro, and we're back with another video. This time, however, um, this is some, this is a video we haven't done in ages because well, there was none. This is a video that is about some big Gutapri news. Now I know I did actually did the video a couple days ago. It was about when it was discovered that season four of Gutapri disappeared off of Crunchyroll. Uh, However, there has been no response from Crunchyroll as far as why or not even an article. I don't think I've ever seen anything answered on a forum post, so... And I went looking, trust me. So, as far as that goes, there's, unfortunately, no news. But... <sighs> you to pre, you to pre, you to pre. What are you doing to us? So... It was discovered last night. So when it was the twenty, yeah, when it was the twenty-first in Japan, uh, that on the TV website there was a big number three slapped up there. Now what the heck did that mean? And it was right under the thing about the blue, the Blu-ray and the DVD. What does that mean? Well, it turns out that it was for a countdown. What's the countdown for? Some very special news coming from Utena Prinsama. And at that time it was in 72 hours, which is now down to 48, and it's about to be down even less. But what in the world could the news be? Well, I think we already know. I mean, let's be real. Everybody knew that the movie was coming out. And everybody knew that eventually they were going to have to give the news on it. But think about this. They hadn't given anything since May 27th as far as intel on the movie. The only thing that we thought we may have known was December 2017 there would have been something about it, or the, if the movie was supposed to come out that was an error that somebody wrote on uh, the Wikipedia page what happened was somebody I guess when they heard there was going to be a movie assumed it was coming out this year because you see uh, if you remember last year it was around January when they announced season three, and then that same year, or excuse me, season four, and then in October, season four happened. So I guess somebody went, oh, they're going to do it again with the movie. Turns out, that's not the case. So it's a very, very interesting situation. Now, the announcement came on December 21st in Japan. The countdown was for three days. Now think about this. 22nd, 23rd, 24th. Get it? I'll put it to you in another way. <clears throat> when season four ended, it ended on, well in Japan it was December 25th, Christmas Day. Here, it was Christmas Eve. Eve, December 24th. December 24th happens to be the day in the anime when the final Triple S selection occurred. In which we all know who won. Stunge. But it's interesting that they made, that they specifically picked that day to do the announcement. Now we can assume, and I think we wouldn't be far off, that the announcement's going to be about the movie. Because if you remember, uh, during the end of season four, Irene Masa kind of hinted about a concert, but would the concert be the movie? That was something we've 
been trying to figure out for how long now? To be honest, we don't know. And that uncertainty may or may not cause a bit of unrest in the Udipri family. Because you see, let's be real, everybody knows that since season two, Stars and Quartet and I have been featured in some way or another very prominently. Heavens, however, had not. And Heavens is going to be a part of the movie. Matter of fact, there's an interesting piece of news. When the first marker was put up, it, they put up the number three. Well, when they put up the first image for number three, they used Heavens is single. Well, let me rephrase that. Their first anime single. Oh, uh, that was first. That was a uh, publicly released. And that was called, of course, Immortal Inferno. By the way, I don't know if Rockley did this intentionally, but by putting up Heavens in the three spot, that was also the same number they peaked at when Immortal Inferno first appeared on the Oregon chart. That's where it debuted and that was its peak. It never reached higher, I don't believe. Now, number two recently has been put up, and that was, in fact, Quartet Night with Godstar, which means we know what number one is going to be, which is going to be Starish with Legend Star, which makes sense. But then comes the nail-biting 24-hour period, because you see... <clears throat> When it happens, on the 24th in Japan, we are going to be wondering what the news is. Like I said, it's pretty much a foregone conclusion what the big news is going to be. I say it's pretty much a foregone conclusion because we know how broccoli can work. They can pull a fastball, or they can pull, pull a curveball on us, and throw everybody off. One thing I did find interesting though, they put, they made sure to put the countdown on a TV site. Now, we know the movie's coming, so they're probably going to announce that when this is over. But, one thing I was thinking, and me and a couple friends were chatting about this, you put it on the TV site. Is there the possibility they're going to announce a fifth season along with it? Or would it be a spin-off for, say, Quartet Night or Heavens? Well, here's the question. Okay. Assume they say <clears throat> they were to do a spin-off for one of those two groups. If it's Quartet at Night, there's probably a good chance people would watch it. Especially in Japan, and I know for a fact in the West. But what about if it was a Heavens one? We don't really know... Um, ...how Heavens is really received in Japan. I mean, let's think about this. Their first actual... Um, Season single, Immortal Inferno, Immortal, yeah, Immortal Inferno, if I can talk today, peaked at number three. Heaven and Sky peaked at number five and then dropped like a rock. So, what are we supposed to take out of that when their first two appeared in the top five, but their latest effort, Heaven Sky, went boom after the fact. Do you see where we're going with this? Or do I need to spell it out even further for you? 
we, like I said, we know Heaven is going to be in the moon. What their role is going to be is going to be very important. Because I want to, I want to bring something up to um, everybody, and it's going to be from an interesting business perspective when you look at per se professional wrestling. It is known that in pro wrestling, the heel or the antagonist, um, their merchandise sales usually are cut in half because you're not trying to promote a bad guy. You don't want people rooting for the villain, you want them rooting for the hero, right? So the fact that they're actually trying to promote heavens in some respect is good. And they actually gave them, in season four, a very positive story, even if it kind of backfired a little bit in episodes nine through 11. Three episode anniversaries that we just passed not that long ago. Matter of fact, uh, we were about two days away from the end anniversary of <clears throat> we're about two days away from the anniversary of um, the final episode of season four. So Heavens has been portrayed at least from season two and the end of season three as antagonists, as villains. So what do you do now? Well, if this is going to be a movie, you can't have them being the villains anymore. They've garnered, I would think, way too much sympathy. So you have to find a way to not make it look like a rivalry. Especially when you, especially when you know they're going to be put into Dulce Vita, and you have to figure out how you're going to portray them in that. So this, of course, brings us to the movie, and what are we going to do now? And of course also, could this movie help or hurt the popularity of, um, of Heavens? Well, that's a good question. Unfortunately, we don't know the answer. And we won't know the answer until it actually happens. But of course, first we have to wait and see exactly what all the information is going to be about said movie and we have to wait and see you know are they going to give us any intel on what the on what the singles are going to be that's going to be interesting also because I'm going to be what here's what's going to be really interesting I think are they going to do um group singles like as if it was a season or are, are they going to be like, say, Poison Kiss, uh, the two versions of Heaven's Gate, or We Are Starish, where you, they were DVD bonuses? Do you see what I'm saying? What are they going to do with it? That's the question. And that's one that we really need answered, because I think everybody would like to be able to get the songs from the movie. And the better question is, are they only going to have three group songs? Are they going to do solo songs? What is going to happen? Also, is this just going to be the movie announcement? Or are they going to announce, like I said, either the spin-off or a season five coming up? Well, we're going to have to find out. This is going to be a very, very trying and nail-biting time. December 24th is almost upon us in Japan. In about less than 10 hours, it will be the 23rd. And then the countdown goes to one. One day. And that's one day that we will find, find out what exactly is going on? And I have a feeling with as silent as Broccoli has been, 
It's not going to be just a firecracker going off. It's going to be a big bang. And I'm ready for it. Are you? I'll see you, my friends, in the very in the next video, which is, like I said, tomorrow. When it'll be the next game show review, I will talk to you then. Good night, my friends. And the next time we talk you Dupree, it will be after the announcement, whatever it is. So, you take care, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.